Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we will learn about Excel using ChatGPT. That said, if these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself, master business and analytics skills, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's cohort of various business analytics programs. Simply Learn offers postgraduate programs in Purdue University in collaboration with Amazon, Google, and Microsoft. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like prescriptive and predictive analytics, regression, classification, and over a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to work on multiple projects and learn from industry experts in top tier product companies and academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, thousands of learners have transitioned into a business analytics role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below to find a business analytics program that fits your experience and areas of interest. Now without further delay, let's get started with the one point agenda for today's session, which is Excel using ChatGPT. Now let's open an Excel document. Let's also try to open a new terminal in ChatGPT. Okay, we have a new chat now, right? Now let's go back to the Excel spreadsheet and here you can see we have a CSV file which is a little longer. So let's try to eliminate a few rows. Let's try to work with only 50 rows for now. Select the first cell. Delete. Right. Now I want an Excel formula to separate all these comma separated values into separate columns. Now we have some automated uh, solutions for it, right? But now let's try to create a formula using ChatGPT. Now let's ask ChatGPT to give a formula to separate So let's edit this. Copy the code and now go back to the spreadsheet. So initially it was trying to give me a solution which is automated, but we wanted a formula anyways. So and now try to drag the same formula across all the cells until we get the last column header. So it is quite lengthy. So I think the last column header is somewhere over here. Here's with the current manager. If you drag the same formula, to all the rows, all the 50 rows that we're initially working with, we will also get the data set separated, right? Now, if we go back there, there you can see the CSV has been successfully separated into different columns, right? Now, if you want to work on some, uh, uh, let's say, some, uh, some functions or mathematical functions which you work with day-to-day -day life, right? Let's copy 10 random values, paste them in a new sheet, calculate the sum of these values right sum of 10 values so let's charge gpt for the same all the mathematical and statistical functions like average mean median mode subtract differentiation everything now let's try to ask it for the summation give me a formula an excel formula to find out sum of 10 numbers in Excel. There you go, that's our formula. Copy the code and paste it in this particular cell. It had 10, right? So we need to add 10.
so let's add the tenth value here and now let's paste the formula which is equals to sum of so this was the formula right a1 to a10 11 okay no worries enter i think this is with the data type right so i think the data type is okay it is carrying the formula so we were supposed to uh, paste the values only right now let's try to delete this particular column and control shift to be sure let's copy the values once again copy and go to the new sheet paste special paste values only right now it's not carrying any of the functions with it so if we implement the same function which uh, ChatGPT gave us which is from sum a1 to a10 enter okay it's still not taking i think it is carrying the formula but again no worries let's enter some random values 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 now we have 10 values and if we use the same formula sum of a1 to a10 which chat gpt initially gave us we have the solution similarly you can also ask chat gpt to give you any of the mathematical and statistical functions now let's say we want to uh, do some macro level functions right let's say uh, we want an interest calculator right so before that we need to save this file as currently this is csv right we need to save it as macro enabled workbook so that whenever we write a macro the macro will be accepted by the workbook right now let's say uh, okay to insert a macro we need to go to macros from developer options let's name our uh, macro as okay let's ask uh, okay i and right let's create this right now let's ask chat gpt for the code give me a macro for calculating interest in excel it should be given me the code there you go simply calculate the uh, simply copy the code go to your macro erase whatever you have here erase this because the some you know the function name we're giving a new function name here calculate interest right instead of interest just save it it'll ask for a small change i think it's done now you can close this macro and in the same developer options go to interest create a button create it somewhere over here and uh, click on the function that you just created the macro just you created press ok and if you want to change it you know you can also change it uh, instead of button one just uh, type in interest there you go done now whenever you click on this button it will cal ask the amount right let's give some principal amount let's say ten thousand dollars annual interest rate maybe six percent as decimal and term period let's me let let's think it's uh one year should be good right so that's how you create macros using excel i think i gave one like instead of sixty thousand right uh, there you go and let's say you want to take it to a next level let's say advanced level you wanted to you know split the first name and second name or let's say we you wanted to do a vlookup function to calculate the performance right now let's say we don't have this okay uh, we, we don't have a what say display username we don't have a username in our current sheet let's imagine we don't have a username right now i want a vlookup function from excel or you know just a syntax also would do give me a vlookup function
so it will give you the required formula you can just use it right and type in the VLOOKUP function here and it's really simple equals to the lookup value you're looking for which is let's say here you're trying to add the lookup formula lookup value and uh, the table array which is this one right here you have given the table array comma the column index you are looking for you wanted the username right so you need to give these two columns and the value you wanted is okay so uh, now you wanted column index 3 and you wanted exact match just tap to select enter okay so i think it required only until c300 value okay i did not give the lookup value that's my bad uh, the lookup range you are giving is the first two three you wanted third column enter and now let's give me a value add it here and there you go you have the answer right you have the user id and username and that's how you use uh, lookup function in excel now let's say i wanted to uh, okay let's remove these two here and let's also remove these two here and let's imagine the display name itself is your username here now i want to split them into first name and second name so go back to chat and ask for a formula give me a formula to split the name into first name and second name an excel formula split name into first name and last name it will give you the formula shortly copy code then go back to excel paste it right there okay i think we copied two codes we just needed one so chat gpt will give you multiple uh, codes here so you can just copy the first one and erase these give me a simpler code okay so i think that was for two different columns right so now let's add it here let's remove this and add it here now if you drag the same formula you should be getting the first names and if you take the second formula here and paste it in the last name position you should be getting all the last names right if there is no second name you will be getting a value error and in case if you have a value you will be getting the second name you can also wrap this inside if error right say not available single quotes since we are giving a text value and enter so that's how you use chat gpt for excel and with that we have come to end of the session on chat gpt for excel and if you have any queries regarding any of the uh, topics covered in this session please do let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here